Hey everyone, this is Eric with First Design, and this is episode one of my Let's Renovate an Apartment series. And yes, yeah, so I had gotten this request a couple of times to do an apartment renovation series, and honestly, I didn't take it super seriously because I'm more of a builder in The Sims 3, and I like to build houses, but I really like doing interiors too. So I thought, you know, why not? This is like a strictly interior, basically. Um, there's a little bit of exterior work, but for the most part, yeah, this is like what we do for the series is just the interior. And yeah, so I had gotten this request a few times, but honestly, I was really inspired to do a Let's Renovate an Apartment series after I saw Deligracies. And it's super awesome. She's got such a cool style. And obviously, like, <laughs> she was my inspiration. And I even hit her up on Twitter and was like, Deli, is it cool if I, you know, do this Let's Renovate series? I don't want to, like, bite your style or anything. But <laughs> I thought it would be a really fun series to do. And she said, yeah, of course, you know. So this is going to be my Let's Renovate series. And so far, it's turning out cool. I wanted to do, well, okay, so the request was, like, a modern loft. And so I picked one of the apartments that's two stories, uh, which honestly, I probably would have picked anyway. But yeah, so we go with the two story apartment for this one, just so we can do like two story walls and just really do interesting things that you would see in a loft. And yeah, someone on my YouTube channel wanted to see the uh, like the exposed ventilation used and stuff like that some of the late night stuff so that's what we're going to do we're going to do like a really modern renovated loft and i wanted it to look like the like the penthouse like this apartment it's kind of like a penthouse but i wanted it to seem like it was like totally renovated like this building was built in like the 50s or 60s and this was like renovated yesterday so i wanted it to be this like really big like modern statement piece on the top of the building so I even go as far as to color the exterior a little bit different so it really looks like it was just built into the building and I think it looks good but just let me know if if you think that looks good at all I uh <laughs> I showed it to like some of my friends who play the sims and I they said they liked it so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Obviously, some of the apartments do that thing where you like go all I mean, I think they all do it where you go all the way up to the top level in the apartment complex and it totally blacks out all of or it doesn't black it out, but it like uses the stock image. It's kind of hard to explain. If you like go all the way to the top level, it won't show any of the exterior work you've done. So, I mean, it really only matters when you're playing the game. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. I got to come here and well, I guess I don't edit it just yet. I think we wait a little. Oh, no, it's right here. Yep. We go ahead and change the exterior to this all white. So it looks like it's this, like, modern addition to the, yeah, to the building. And just trying to use stuff that I hadn't really used before. I am using, like, a Showtime fence around the side. And, yeah, right there where we're putting the Into the Future fence. I'm going to make that, like, an outdoor garden. And I'm thinking about even making, like, a, like a step out balcony area i'm not sure we're gonna try and do something interesting on the second floor and yeah so i know this video is really fast for a renovate series but i like i said i did a little bit of build work on the exterior which is this so i went ahead and sped it up six times while i'm doing like the structural work so then like in just a few moments yeah right here we go ahead and switch and we're about half the speed that we were at before so you can see what i'm doing a little bit better uh yeah just i know that uh it's kind of trend to record the audio for these series while you play them and then do it in real time but that's a problem for me for a couple of reasons one i don't have a microphone i record all of my audio on my laptop uh, it has a fairly decent audio pickup, so I just use that for right now. I don't really have a microphone. Also, um, my laptop is not the fastest. Uh, I bought it in 2013. It came out uh, end of 2013. So it's a good laptop, but it's not a gaming laptop. And uh, it lags a little bit when I play the game. So you don't want to like sit there and watch my load times and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I mean, this is at two times speed. So, I mean, it's close, It's but it's just fast enough to like gloss over some of the load time issues and stuff like that, like stuff you don't want to see. So, yeah, it makes a much more enjoyable video for me to make them this way. And so, yeah, here we start in the kitchen. One thing that I absolutely love about renovated lofts or renovated spaces at all is the use of brick 
and like high gloss white together. That is one of my all time like favorite interior design techniques. So of course I'm going to bring that in here. Those cabinets are like a really light wood color and with like high gloss white countertops. And I think it looks really sweet against the brick, but I'm also thinking about coming in and adding some tile in the kitchen. So obviously, like I say this every video and I probably will continue to say it, but <laughs> if you have any recommendations, just leave them below in the comments because one thing I really do when I do these series, I will go through and I will find everyone's comments. I will make a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet of every comment that people leave and if they have or any suggestions, I should say. So anything you leave, I go ahead and put into an Excel spreadsheet and we try it. Uh, I'll be honest, a lot of it, I'm very picky about what I do in my homes. So some of it might not stay and we might not keep your, your specific suggestion, but I just wanted to like let people know that certainly I do go through and check and try out different suggestions. So feel free to leave them below and I swear I'll get better at giving shout outs. I've said that a couple times but I'm terrible at remembering names. Anyway, back to the build. We are doing the kitchen, and I'm not sure what type of... Yeah, you see me switch right there, and we actually put in... We, like, cut out a little bit of video there for just a second. Uh, a lot of tedious stuff that was going on, some game freeze issues and stuff. So, um, yeah, we cut out a little bit of... Uh, video right there and so we're doing this exposed duct work in the house and it is a little bit of an issue in the sims because you can place this exposed duct work and you can link it together and make really cool shapes but for some reason like it just doesn't look realistic to me like it's not going anywhere like it just plugs into a wall I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so so that was one of the requests I got was exposed ductwork in the house. So that's what we're using. And we're going to try and use more of those like industrial feeling things that came with late night. And we're going to try and mix it with a really modern, really upscale style for the apartment. And yeah, so we I think that this video primarily focuses on the kitchen. Um, yeah, excuse me, because I recorded more than just one episode. I recorded a couple of episodes at, in one sitting. So I'm pretty sure the footage that is this video just covers basically the kitchen. And so we're like trying around with unique floor plan ideas, little interesting things. This is an idea I came up with when I was doing a townhouse series. I end up nixing, I ended up nixing it because I didn't like how it was coming along. And I'll probably still do a townhouse, but for now, um, well, there isn't one, <laughs> but I got this idea doing the townhouse series, uh, putting two walls really close to each other like that. And instead of using the into the future shelving, um, long ways, you use it short ways. So it makes like a little cubby if you would stack two of them together on top of each other. Um, but I don't end up doing that. I will probably do it somewhere. It would look really cool. I think in an, uh, like a walk-in closet, I think it would look cool. So we'll probably do that in a walk-in upstairs. And yeah, so we struggle for a little bit. Well, I don't want to say struggle, but we play around with plenty of different floor plans. But I think the one that we end up with is the most fitting for the room. That's basically it right there. Uh, we make it a little bit more symmetrical and stuff, but that's basically it. There's a lot of really cool things I wanted to do in this kitchen. I wanted to make a really custom kitchen and use a lot of pieces in the kitchen that aren't necessarily pieces specific to the kitchen, if that makes sense. Uh, just like making a more custom looking kitchen, but it ended up looking, uh, it ends up looking fairly simple, but I don't know. I like the kitchen, <laughs> but the one thing I'm not certain about is the flooring. I've used that flooring in a couple of houses and it really is just like the easy go to modern floor tile. But I'm thinking about doing the whole apartment, obviously, other than the bathrooms, but I'm thinking about doing the whole apartment in that like uh, wood, wood color that was wood planks. So leave in the comments below if you'd like to see all wood or wood and tile on the main floor, because I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> And yeah, so here we end up we end up like playing around with cabinets. And one thing that really seriously gave me troubles was connecting those cabinets. And I am not sure exactly why they won't connect on the corner, but my best guess, and it's what's most likely, is that it won't connect on the corner because they're different style cabinets. But it's just frustrating because they'll connect on a straight line, but not in a corner. 
I don't know, <laughs> whatever. It's just giving me a lot of issues. So we come in and readjust how the cabinets are going to be. Even though against that wall, I love the two small cabinets and the one and the two larger ones on either side. It would have made a perfect space for me to put a double sink underneath. But you know, <laughs> we have we end up making some sacrifices. And yeah, so that is kind of the floor plan or the kitchen plan that we end up with. There are a few minor changes that we do. We come in and add obviously some seating around the the island bench and things like that, just kind of complete the kitchen. And it's not done yet, but it's primarily done, uh, as done as it's going to be in this episode anyway. So um, episode two, I've filmed probably like 80% of episode two already, and I'm loving this series. So I swear episode two, I will give a shout out to whomever recommended the apartment series. I got a couple different requests. I even got a request to do an apartment building series instead of a renovation series. But I don't know if I'm going to do the apartment series, I want to do like a renovation. I don't want to build an apartment um, just because uh, I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of work and there's going to be a ton of apartments to furnish, whereas this is just like a small project. It's going to be just a few episodes. So this is the one that we end up going with. I will do a cool build project soon, but one that's not like a let's build a house. I'll do like an apartment complex or something like that. But for now, this is the series that we're going to run with. And yeah, those are the Showtime benches that we end up using. Um, they're really the only, like, modern-looking bench. Or not bench, uh, stool. The, they're, like, the only modern-looking stools in this game for some reason, at least of the content that I have. And I don't know. <laughs> I get tired of using them, but they're really kind of the only modern ones. And I color them that, like, light green, gold, tan color. I think it plays really well with the red and orange in the brick. But, I mean, obviously you be the judge. Leave below in the comments if you'd like to see a different color on the um, the stools. That word is giving me some trouble. <laughs> I cannot remember it. Um, yeah, so here we come in and put in, like, a dual sink. And that was my first idea was to put in a dual sink. But with the amount of space that there is in this kitchen, I really just need to like focus on what's most important and what is a necessity in the kitchen and then focus on things that are really high end, like two stoves, two sinks, ton of whatever, you know, I just, <laughs> I really want to focus on the appliances, the essentials, and then like the more superfluous things. And yeah, so one thing I'm trying to use is some late night content because it fits the style really well. And so this is like some of the content that I use, but I don't know. I really am just going to use all of the content that I have. I want to use some late night, of course, because, I mean, we're in Bridgeport. But, yeah, I'm going to be using all of this like expansions I have. And, yeah, so that is basically the finished kitchen. And there's only about a minute left in the video. So enjoy what is left in the video. In episode two, we are going to come back in and focus on the living room. And I think, um, I can't remember if we put in a, a bathroom downstairs or not. But, yeah, I think there's going to be a living room and a half bath downstairs. So that is probably what we're going to focus on in episode two. And, yeah, so I will have that episode up for you guys shortly and hopefully another episode of my Let's Build a House Island Retreat series, which is coming along swimmingly. And we are almost done with that one as well. So about 24 hours after this video goes live, expect two to three new videos because I'm on a roll. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.